It's a beautiful day in Texas today, and you guys may or may not remember my video from a few months ago of my favorite electronics junk store in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I found out recently they're actually still open, and they're down to about 80% off, so it may only be filled with junk even to my standards, but what the heck, we'll go down there and take a look and see what they have. Maybe something interesting? I don't know. Let's find out. At first glance, I immediately notice how empty the store is, particularly the video game section. Nothing decent to see here, folks. All of the consoles have been sold, and any loose cartridges you might find are almost entirely sports games. Nothing left but the bones here. That being said, there are still an abundance of treasures to be found, especially for an obsolete technology enthusiast like myself. The employees won't reveal when the store is closing or what the future holds for any of these unsold items. The pallet of IBM PS2s has been pushed to the front and priced. Apparently $50 each is a special price for goobs only. Oh wait, that means going out of business. Sorry about that. It looks like they still have plenty of those cool little 46 based Mitsubishi tablet computers. I don't remember exactly how many of these I've purchased, but it's been quite a few. These were made for playing SimCity. The Grid and Fujitsu tablets are interesting, but they're in rough shape. It doesn't look like the stacks of old computers are getting any smaller. Even though many of these are only a few dollars each. I would suspect that a majority of these will end up going to a recycler. Buckets full of motherboards, video cards, and miscellaneous PC hardware lines the shelves. The owners have continued to unload inventory from their storage units, including this pallet of old desktop computers couple of Sun workstations, IBM compatibles, and a nice little Tandy 2500XL. The first computer I ever purchased with my own hard-earned money was a Compact Desk Pro. This one is a few years newer than the one I originally owned, but it appears to be all there and has a few decent expansion cards installed. I think I'll pick this one up. I know someone who can use it. The museum is still largely intact, primarily due to the high prices. These items are currently marked at 35% off of their sticker price. The first item to catch my eye is the Macintosh 512K with hyperdrive. How did I miss this before? When the Macintosh launched in 1984, it did not support a hard disk. General Computer Corporation was a licensed Apple dealer that sold internal hard disk upgrades without voiding Apple's warranty. These are extremely rare and expensive. Another rare unit is the Zenith Easy PC. These were IBM XT class computers designed to be friendly to those who were not PC savvy. This one looks brand new and comes with the box. Pretty neat, although I have no idea what I would do with it. Several old monitors are displayed behind the counter. Here's a hidden gem, the SGI Indigo 2 graphics workstation. These were used as early development systems for the Nintendo 64. This one weighs a ton, at least 50 pounds. I'm a sucker for old portables and there are plenty of machines still waiting for new homes. I've adopted a few, but there are still plenty of old luggables and parts remaining. I did manage to liberate a couple of desktop computers, but unfortunately my wife will only tolerate so many beige boxes entering our house. I could easily buy a few more items, but I'm afraid I will have to let these go somewhere else. 
Speaking with the owners, they revealed that the museum items will be salvaged from the recyclers. Any old sold vintage stock will be stored and auctioned after the store closes. So that's certainly a good thing. So as you can see, it was pretty bare in there as to be expected, but one of the main reasons I came here was to just pick up a couple of miscellaneous things and check out the museum pieces as well. Uh, I ended up picking up a little compact desk pro machine just to purchase for my stepdad who's kind of been looking for a, an older machine where he can load Windows 98 and play some of his old DOS games and late 90s PC games, things like that. So I figured that'd be perfect. I also picked up a Macintosh mouse to kind of go along with one of the projects that I'm working on since I didn't have one. Ended up spending about $12 for both of them, so <laughs> it's about as cheap as it gets, really. And they've still got stacks of stuff in there. A lot of Tandys, but, you know, we're about 15 miles away from what used to be the old Tandy corporate headquarters, so not to be uh, shocked there that there's a lot of Tandy machines in there. But um, unfortunately, this will probably be my last visit to discount sales before they close, unless I need a floppy cable or something like that. But a um, little sad because it's been convenient to be able to come here and buy little things like that and a couple of museum items. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the second time around. Thanks for watching.